Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 11, our FM20 beta save. I guess I should turn my lights on, huh? Sorry about that. I had two of them on, but not the other two. Um, anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, welcome back to FM20 beta release. Uh, we are in our last season, what I'm expecting to be our last season, uh, at Real Madrid for our beta save uh working i'm working on some ideas i've got i've got something new that i don't know that anybody has ever done before and that could you know anybody that i'm familiar with and i don't know if it'll be popular um i don't know if it well none of my videos are popular but i don't know if you guys will like the idea but uh well you know what nah nah you'll either watch it or you won't right i mean that's that's what you're gonna do anyway um, so let's get to it. Let's look at our schedule. A couple of, uh, well, a, a trio of 2 nil wins and a 1-1 draw in our friendlies. Uh, goals from Benzema, Davies, Lut uh, Jovic, Sabalos, Asensio, uh, didn't see his name very much, Greenwood, and Benzema popped up again. So quite a lot has happened. Um... I thought I was going to get sacked and there was a manager that resigned and I'm listed as the first person to be sacked this se this current season. Sorry about that. Um, so that's not good news. Uh, if we take a look at the club vision manager performance, So, yeah, I mean, we're, we're kind of C's, but I did get an email uh, a couple of weeks ago that said that they were going to reserve any judgment until after we had started playing matches. So I, I could be on the outs. I mean, there it's really close here. So you start getting into the C's, and I actually had a C minus, and that's what prompted that so a c minus is whoo so not sure i like the letter grades rather than the bars but i mean a c i would guess is right at 50 percent c minus so i guess that all works out but anyway that's what's going on there uh we had some transfers uh where's the news right here um i went and made a offer on amin guiri it was accepted, and I didn't have the money to pull the trigger. I had a bunch of guys that I've been trying to dump since the very end of last season to make some money and reduce our wages, and nobody, none of our big players got signed. So that was, yeah, that was that was troubling. Um, I don't know if it's due to the fact of their age. I don't know if it's the fact of their their value. I don't know if it's the, you know, because, I mean, you know, like this guy. He's valued at seven and a quarter, and, and I was able to negotiate them to $65 million. So what's that? Almost 10 times his value. So as a comparison... As a comparison, uh, Benzema, he's valued at $51 million. He's got a buyout of $1.16 billion. Yeah. Um, so this means just as much. I guess this is just like so you don't get stupid offers, but you still get stupid offers. I mean, that means absolutely nothing um yeah so anyway and speaking of benzema uh so he returned from loan he went off to psg last year wanted to return home didn't want to play in spain anymore so he comes back i put him on the transfer list again and he blows up and gets mad at me and he goes why are you trying to get rid of me i'm like i'm looking through the list of answers and there's not an answer going that says, you wanted to go back home, you dumbass. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, not sure what the hell that was all about. 
Um, but anyway, he appears to be back, which is all right. He's 32. I'd rather sell him, but um, yeah. So anyway, let's take a look at the transfers. Uh, we've got uh, a few guys coming in, but let's see who we sent out. So uh, Nacho left to Arsenal on a free. Uh, all these guys left at end of contract deals. Uh, Luka Modric, we sold at the end of last season to PSG for $8 million. A uh, bunch of people on loan. Luka Zidane is our third keeper. He goes to Watford for 1.2. Roberto goes to Liverpool for 1.9. He's a, a young, a very young striker. Uh, Valentin Herrero, uh, he's a young striker. He goes to Levante for 1.4. Uh, so, yeah, 12.5. Uh, I signed Ben White. Ben White, for those of you that don't know who that is, is one of the best defenders in the world. <laughs> to me. <laughs> to me. Um, he's basically a, a ball-playing defender, playing center back. His ball skills, his dribbling, his handling... His passing are stellar. I bought him for $35 million. I, I've loaned him out to Villarreal, but these, these numbers don't do him justice. But he is, he is very good, right? So, you know, they say he's going to be three-star. That's bullshit. He's already, you know, he's already three-star. <laughs> uh, he is, he's, he's Premier League quality right now, Um right now so the game doesn't doesn't really do his, his real life justice if we look at his history so uh he's on loan at leeds this year uh he was on loan at petersborough in league one so brighton's had him down he's work and through the first half of the season this guy's ready to go play in the premier league and and we're hopeful that they were hopeful that they'll sell him to us, but they won't because they've already turned down some pretty massive offers, uh, 20 plus million dollars for him from some other clubs in the Premier League. Um, we've got him on loan. We're hopeful that they don't recall him in the January transfer window to play for them. Uh, if he's not going to start for them, I don't think they will. Um, but that's, you know, Ugh, God, that's that's what we're worried about right now. So yeah, you know he he was, I don't know. Yeah, I want I shouldn't have probably gotten him, but I wanted him. Uh, that's where all my money went that I wanted to sign the striker with. But uh, we signed Miguel Rodriguez. Uh, he comes to us from uh, Vigo. Uh, hasn't played any football, but he is a a winger and he's pretty solid i mean you know he's not great but he's pretty solid and he was a he was free so we got him you know very cheap very good uh, uh wages and then uh, alfonso davies from uh fc bayern from bayern munich uh 19 years old 23 caps for canada uh but a very very good left winger and i was hoping to move hazard didn't happen so you can see uh, all of our aging guys up here. Uh, Sergio Ramos, Benzema, Bale, Cruz, Hazard. Uh, all those guys are still here. Um, he's unhappy because I transfer listed him. <sighs> but, you know, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? So $30 million. At least this is his last year. Uh, we won't be re-signing him. So, but anyway, what are we going to do this season? Uh, well, you know, we're, we're picked to finish second. And there we go. Um, we're going to play Real Hispalis and Real San Sebastian today. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how many days are left between when this episode will go up and the release of the official version 
we maybe end up playing another year because sometimes I decide I want to play with a lower level club than comes with the vanilla version of the game. And you got to wait for a database to come out and those usually take a few weeks. So I don't know. Well, we may play around or I may do another short save uh, with a club. I've got an idea for a club, but I don't, I'm also, I've, I've got two ideas. One is for a club and one is for, doing something a little different. We'll just see how it works out. But anyway, let's get to the matches because that's why we're all here. That's why you're here, right? Right? Question mark? Right question mark? All right, 63,000 tickets, fitness test, matches. All right, we are road favorites. So I'm going to use this as a favorite and I'm going to use this as a um, underdog. That's the word I'm looking for. So we're going to go with this. Now, the problem is that, you know, I wasn't getting the goals here that I really wanted. And Greenwood has really surprised. Uh, Vucevic. Uh, he's going to either play midfield or uh, defense, uh, this deep line playmaker. Uh, with the departure of Modric, Danny Olmo is going to slot in. So he'll be our everyday starter in the midfield. So let's get to it. Uh, I do have Benzema over there. Let's compare these guys because I, I didn't look at Benzema a lot last year. So I want to compare him with Joker. Jovic. Pretty close. Pretty close. Physical vision. Uh, attributes. Finishing. Slight advantage to Jovic. First touch advantage to Benzema. Better free kick taker. Heading's about even. Benzema's a better passer. Pace and acceleration are both good for both guys. Positioning, teamwork, vision. Uh, you know, hmm. Decision making. Composure. Composure is good for both of them. And if I change this over to Greenwood, what do we have? Pace advantage, acceleration advantage, finishings even, first touches, slight advantage to Benzema, heading is a big advantage, passing is a big advantage. Work rates even. Position, oh, positioning is horrid. Um, you know, God damn, I'm gonna put him in there. Um, Asensio, Odrazola, Mendy. Wow, there's a bunch of bunch of people that probably need to be in my. Uh, in my list there but on my bench but all right let's go ahead i'm going to start benzema i'm going to start benzema all right first match of the season try to get all their morale up morale is actually pretty solid all right boys Get creative. All right, Hazard takes his time, drives it into the box, and we didn't have anybody there. All right, Varan controls it into Vukasevic. Cruz. Nice fading ball into Hazard. Oh, Bale. Bale! 
Yes. I believe he scored our first goal of last season, too. I think. I could be really wrong on that. I could be really wrong on that. Brilliant first goal. I think that was another semi-long shot, right? Bale is calm, cool, and collected. He's cooler than the other side of the pillow, to quote the late Stuart Scott. Oh, my God. Who just got, Tella's just got toasted. <clears throat> so, you know, we've seen a lot of keepers, ours and the opponents, making a lot of great one-on-one -on -one saves. So it seems like the early indicators are one-on-ones are broken, <coughs> or at least they're they're underpowered. Heading appears to be overpowered. Long shots appear to be overpowered. Um, and pressing uh, attacks seem to still be working. And playing counterattacking and and uh, you know kind of parking the bus does not appear to work as well. All right, nobody's got a yellow card. Knock on wood. Okay, let's get creative. Come on, boys. We need to win more than one nil. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Bale scored a lot of goals from that wing position last year early, but I kind of liked the, oh, Vucevic. There it is. Uh, nice ball, Bale. Good touch. One-on-one, -on -one, and he misses. So kind of want to keep an eye on the one-on-ones. Varane across the face of the goal. Yeah, we've seen a lot of powerful headers. All right. I'm going to go to this tactic. Uh, Vuvecic for Cruz. And then Cruz for... Let's bring Jovic on. And... And... Militao. No, that ain't what I wanted to hit. Carvajal. There we go. All right, so there's two subs. Was that guy's name Sydney? Is that right? Sid, Sid, Sidney? Sidney? Because it's got a little apostrophe in there, but it looks like Sydney. I don't know. Interesting. All right, lumped out into some space. Uh oh. Oh, oh no! That was not good. Camarasa. Ugh. <laughs> wow. All right, I don't know what to think about that. Probably should have cleared that a little more than just that little dink. Hmm. I did switch him on this tactic. I did switch him to a sweeper keeper. Hmm. I'm, I'm rethinking that thought. All right. Olmo to the outside. Carvajal. He just stands there. Vuvetic off target. Ooh. Damn it. Damn it. Come on, boys. Uh, push forward. Baran lumps it. Jovic stays on side. He's got a runner in the middle. Crossed in. Benzema! Get in there. His first goal of the season. Woo! Nice cross in. I was worried he was going to try to take a shot from out there. Uh, 
All right, they got a lot of spaces we're laying off. Oh, good through ball. Gee whiz. Oh, oh my God. Seriously? We're not playing a trap. I'm going to go to hit early crosses just to see if that does anything for us. That was brutal. All right. Um, Asensio. Let's get you on. I haven't seen a lot of him. He was injured most of last season. He was one of the Star guys that look like they could be a star player. Not happy with that result, fellas. Um, yeah, disappointing. I will give you that. I will give you that. So, yeah, that's... Yeah, I don't usually praise anybody. So PSG is still looking. That he uh, Benzema went to PSG last year. They say they're interested in him, but they haven't made an offer. And honestly, I'm. Man, I mean, I think I got the guys I could make a go without him if they made a good offer. But if it's just a little cheap offer, barely over his value, I'm probably going to tell him to sod off because they've cost me Guiri at this point. And now I'm pissed. So, all right, we'll see you guys for the next match in a second. All right, we're home, we're favorites. You know, I'm going to bring I'm going to go to this tactic here. All right. Um Want to go attacking? Yes, yes. And let's work on the early crosses all match this time. Uh, Jovic, Benzema up top. Uh, Vuvecic. Sabalos. All right. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Do this for the fans. You know the players don't care about the fans. All right, we are in the white. Uh, Gareth Bale gets his pocket picked. All right, a bad cross by them. Tellus turns it around. Cruz drives up. Forces Jovic to make a run to save the ball. Gareth Bale, nice. And a header. Cross the goal. It's a lot of activity in the first minute. All right, Bale again. Places it inside. A 1-2. Militao. Long shot. Sabalos, his first goal. Get in there. And then a handstand cartwheel. Super fancy. I can honestly say that all the football I've ever seen, I don't believe I've ever seen anybody do that. Coutois with a nice save. Jovic, a oh, nice first touch. Holds it up, lays it off to Hazard. Into the box. Sabalos chest it down. Bail! Oh... Bale's just a little off the mark here in the early going. Get creative. All right, Cruz. Bale, Sabalos, Militao. Now there's an open ball to Tellas. Hazard. 
off the bar. Ugh. Some serious woodwork going on there. Is that an offsides, I guess, or a foul? Uh, Bale? Bale? I don't know what you're doing. Get the ball. Hazard. Taken down in the box. That's got to be a penalty. I believe so. And it's how... Uh, <laughs> no, no, not him. Oh, he put that one in. Oh, nice placement. At least it wasn't right down the middle. Right to the keeper. All right, we'll take that. 2-0. That will give him a shout of praise. All right, tell is. Oh, there's. A, oh, I thought that was in. What's the deal? What happened? What happened? <laughs> oh, that's a name. Or Yarza Ball? Or Yarza Ball? Wow. That hurts just thinking about saying it, let alone actually trying to say it. I'm sure it's a common name, you know, from where he's from, but. Oh, that was a danger ball. Oh, nice little one two out to Tellus. Laid off to Hazard. Deep into the box. Oh, what the hell was that? Gareth Bale, that should be illegal. I think in America that's illegal in 47 states. That looked like a really nice high jump scissor kick volley. Oh, well, maybe not a high jump, but he did a scissor kick volley. That was uh, interesting. All right, quick one-two. Bale finds Militao on the overlap. Hazard. Bale? Oh, my God. Bale is on fire. He started off last season like this with a hat trick, remember? Four-nil. Let's drive back. Let's pull back to balanced. Call the dogs off a little bit. Try to rest the legs. Oh, a little deflection. Benzema was looking for a shot. Sabalos. Crossed in. Oh, big header. Oh, my God. Everybody's in the green except for the keeper. So they haven't fixed that. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't think you can ever do the don't say anything. Because I think that just freaks players out. I mean, could you imagine if you were in there and you're waiting for your coach to come in and give his halftime speech? Then he just walks in, looks at you, and then turns around and walks out the door? Oh my God, players would like lose their shit. Could you imagine the tweets that would come out like from the locker room? Oh my God, this is what the coach just did. All right, tell is hazard. Ugh. All right, let's make some subbies here. Um, Gareth Bale, let's rest him. Danny Olmo can come in. Uh, I want to put Greenwood up top. Let's put him in for uh, Benzema and see how the Greenwood-Jovich pairing works out. I really wanted to take Cruz off because I don't like him. I don't have anything against him personally. I just 
not liking him in the game. All right, we'll make this sub early. And yes, it's going to be the Crewster. Yep. Much better ball handler and defender there in the middle. Kind of solidify things a little bit. No real highlights. 27 to 0 on shots. Holy crap. Oh, Hazard just pinches that out of the air. And that's something else uh, uh, that people have talked about. Shooting from very tight angles. We've seen Hazard take um, 2 or 80 shots from a tight angle, right? Yep, excellent effort. Good job, guys. Oh, we're still mid-table, though. Oof, two points off the top already. That does not bode well. But we are unbeaten. We are unbeaten. Uh, Las Moringues. Uh, Gareth Bale. Oh, he did not have a hat trick. He had two goals. I'm all right with that. Uh, you were superb. You continue to be superb. All right, guys. So, uh, group stage coming up. We're, we're playing Barcelona. Yeah, um, I think we'll come back for that. Let's come back for... Uh, let's come back for Ibar. And we'll do the opening champ, uh, group stage match. Uh, I bar. I'll come back probably at the beginning of the video for the draw because I don't know. Oh, that's on the 27th. And where are we? Where are we? We are on the 23rd. So that's here. So yeah, I'll come back on the 27th, uh, do the draw. And then we'll skip ahead to the to the next match. So I'll see you guys next episode. Bye.